Hello there, beautiful friends from around the world. I'm going to be your host, Black and Fist, and we finally, after so much time of knowing absolutely nothing, finally some serious news about Dragon Ball Super have leaked because the trailer, just a teaser trailer, it really wasn't that long, it was about 15 seconds, finally got out, and we actually have some information on it now. The biggest thing I saw is that Goku apparently is a radish farmer again. And if you guys don't know, that is exactly what he was in the Yo Son Goku and, and his friends return special. So it's very interesting to see how Goku has returned to this role. And I don't know what it means, but it's interesting seeing Goku in that role again. But one of the biggest things that have been speculated about Dragon Ball Super is when is it taking place? The biggest clue is Goten and Trunks. Now, because Beerus and Whis are in this movie, obviously this movie has to take place after Battle of Gods. And like a lot of people were speculating, people were saying that it's going to be after Fukatsu no F. I personally really thought it was going to be in between the years of Z and GT. However, because Goten and Trunks look as though they have not aged at all, it is impossible for this movie to be taking place after Fukatsu no F. It has to take place after Battle of Gods, but before Fukatsu no F, so in that time gap. Now, that time placement is very peculiar because no one, and I mean no one, I was seeing a whole bunch of speculations, no one anticipated that Dragon Ball Super might be in between both of them two recent movies. What does that mean for story potential? Well, I'm not sure, really, but it seems that Dragon Ball Super might be a little lighthearted. That's just the vibe I've gotten from the trailer so far. And I don't know about you, but it seems that Goten and Trunks, now I know this is a very short trailer and it's not long and per maybe I'm completely wrong, but I feel that the sense I got from that trailer is that Goten and Trunks are going to have a big role in this series and they might even be a central player in it. Now who knows, maybe Goku's still at the helm, we have no idea. Maybe we'll see more of Goku and Vegeta's training with Whis, that could be a possibility as well. The thing that really gets me is that the gap between Battle of Gods and Fukatsu no F is only one year. And maybe just a bit more than that, but that gap is very, very short. That also brings into question, does that mean that Dragon Ball Super might actually not be that long? Because people were saying that maybe it would be a hundred plus episode series and I was thinking it was at least going to be running for one full year, which would be, be around 50 something episodes. But maybe that is not the case because this gap would not be enough that would be the case but maybe dragon ball super just starts off at this gap and then takes over and then maybe it takes place years after in another time period and quite honestly guys i don't know what their plans for dragon ball super is and how long it's going to be running but if they plan for dragon ball super to be running for something like a year or even longer than a year like a lot of people are saying they're definitely going to have to have a time skip to have the series take place at a later date because one year the wiggle room between battle of gods and fukatsu no f is very limited and i do feel that the story ideas at least for goku and vegeta are very limited because we kind of know what they're up to they're training with Whis. And that also leads me to believe that perhaps Dragon Ball Super might not focus on Goku or Vegeta that much, leading me to believe, once again, reinforcing my idea that perhaps Goten and Trunks might be the central focus of this series. Of course, this is all speculation, but it all gives us a good hint at what possibly could happen in this series. Now, as for the animation, it's kind of what I expected. It pretty much looks like the movie style that we've been seeing in Battle of Gods and Fukatsu no F. I'm pretty sure the animation might not be as smooth as the movies because obviously they're movies and this is a series, but the character designs definitely are from the movies. Videl, for instance, looks exactly like the way she did in Battle of Gods. But overall, guys, the feeling I got from this trailer is that Dragon Ball Super is not going to have the fate of the world at stake, let's say. I'm getting the feeling that Dragon Ball Super might take a lighter tone in its approach to what the conflicts will be. 
I really feel that the conflicts will be small, they won't be over dramatic, and quite honestly, they can't be because we know too much about this time period. We know that Goku can't die because he is in Fukatsu no F and at the end of the series. We know too much of what happens after this series and I really feel that this is something that affects the movies as well like Battle of Gods and Fukatsu no F. What I'm trying to say here is that we know certain things going into even Battle of Gods and Fukatsu no F because they take place before the end of the Dragon Ball manga and we know certain things at the end of the Dragon Ball manga like for instance Goku not dying, Vegeta not dying and things like that. So let's say if Frieza blew up the earth in Fukatsu no F, not only because in Dragon Ball we they have Dragon Balls, but also because the Earth obviously exists at the end of the series. But we'll see how long Dragon Ball Super lasts and how good it will be. I really feel that there's a lot of weight on Dragon Ball Super's shoulders right now. Dragon Ball Super honestly could make or even break Dragon Ball and its momentum right now if Dragon Ball Super flunks. And guys, I'll keep you up to date with any new news that might come out. But until then, I'm Black and Fist. And I'm not mad.